In this video you're going to learn how to add a countdown timer to your site and you're going to learn how it will float up and down using a box like this. These are both free scripts that you can use. Now if we roll this web page up you'll see that the bar follows it down. So we can put a message on that or we can use a countdown script. So the first part is to install this part of the code on our website. You don't even need a website editor to do this. You can just use Notepad to open up your site. So let's go and find our site. And here's what we have here. So we're going to open the index page. This is the main page. We're doing Open With and Notepad. Now what we'll do is we'll follow directions. So it says, Step 1, add the following code into the head section of your page. So just do a Select All, a Copy, and then go into our index page and just right underneath the head here, we can just paste that in there. Okay, and then it says here, step two, insert the below HTML code in the body section of your page outside any container tags, i.e. div or table. Okay, so we'll do select all and copy. Then we'll go back to our notepad. We'll go down till we see a body tag. Okay, here's our body tag. So we'll put it right here. Just paste that in there. And your content here. This is where we're going to actually put our counter code when we get to that. But first, let's save this. Now let's open this web page so you can see what we've just done. We click in, click on the index and open it in our browser. You'll see it says your content here. So anything that we put in there is going to show up in there. When they roll the page down, it follows them around. So what you could do is put any message you want here if you just want to use this part of the code. And you can send any message to the visitor on the page that you want. It'll scroll through until they click on it and get rid of it. Now, to get this X up here, there's one more step we have to do, and I've already actually done that part, but what you have to do is go down here where the little X is, do a right click, save image as, and then save it to the directory that your site is in, which I already did, and then it will work, just like you saw here. I've actually already done that part. Okay, now the next thing we would do is add our counter code into here, and we're going to use another free script. And you can see the URLs to these scripts at the bottom of the video. We will also have a document that has these URLs to these scripts in them. Okay, so here is the script right here. So all we have to do basically is copy this code. Very simple. Copy. Go back to our index page and where it says your content here. Let's get rid of that and then paste this code in there. Now all we have to do is change the date. So if we wanted, say, New Year's Day 2009. So it's month, day, year. Now here we have the colors that we can set. We can set the background color and the foreground color just by using the names of the colors. You could also use a color code there if you want. We have our counter active, whether it's true or false. Our counter stepper, this tells us which direction we're going and by how many seconds. If we're going to have leading zeros on the counter. Our display format, days, hours, minutes, seconds. Okay, and then our finish message, we can put a message here that we want them to see. So in this case, we can do Happy New Year, something like that. And there we go, that's all there is to it. So we'll save this. Now we'll go and refresh our page. Okay, so 37 days, 3 hours, 56 minutes, 58 seconds and it's appearing in our bar here. And as you see, it continues to count down. Now one other thing we could do 
is we could actually, as you see here, the JavaScript is actually contained on another page that belongs to somebody else, actually the author of this script. And he says here that if you want to save him some bandwidth, you can download it to your own page. So you download the countdown.js. Now what we would do is we would just copy this whole page. We could just do a select all. Let's do edit, select all, and copy. Or control C. And then we would open a notepad session, paste it in there, and then he tells us what to name it down here. So we name it countdown.js. Now we do a save and we call it countdown.js. Countdown.js, that stands for JavaScript. And then let's change that to all files so it doesn't save it as a text file. And then we can go back. To our index page and we can get rid of the URL here and just look for it locally at countdown.js like so. And now if we go back and refresh this, make sure it works and it does. Now one more thing, if we look at this it has got the date in here but what it's doing is it's getting the date off your local computer. So you're going to want to put the UTC in here, a universal time code, so that it knows about the time zones and works properly for everybody's computer. And they actually show an example down here. You put the time UTC minus or plus or whatever it's going to be, minus 0500. By doing that, you will have everybody synchronized to the proper time in their time zone. So let's go and change that now. So we'll put here UTC minus oops, minus 0700. Actually, we changed it to minus 7, so we'll change this to minus 8 so that we'll see a difference on my browser since I am in the time code minus 7. So let's refresh. And as you see, it just turned from three hours to four hours. And then if we change that back to minus seven again, like that. So basically what you're going to want to do is set the time to your current time zone that you want it to happen. And then it will work on everybody's computer. And no matter what time zone they are in. So that is how you can add a scrolling countdown counter to your site.